Hi, how's everybody doing today? This is Rich here on behalf of Rich TV Live with a very special guest. It is Dmitry Sirov, the CEO of American Airs Inc. How are you doing today, Dmitry? I'm doing well. Thank you very much for having me today. Thank you for joining us today. And why don't we get started and you can tell us a little bit more about American Airs Inc. Well, um, we have developed a unique technology that is able to restructurize the electromagnetic field emitted by personal data communication devices and by surrounding electric lines and cell phone towers. We can um, digitally modify that electromagnetic field and make it much more biologically compatible. As a result, we are dramatically reducing the negative effects of the exposure to electromagnetic radiation, both from their own surroundings, called electromagnetic pollution, and from physical devices, such as your Wi-Fi router, cell phone, baby monitor, computer, and so on. Very good. And what do you believe will be the effect of the upcoming integration of 5G? Now, this is a very good question. So current technology, it's called LTE. In yes. other words, for 4G, which is fourth generation. Currently, this technology operates on 2.8 to 3 gigahertz. Even this uh, bandwidth was classified as possibly carcinogenic to humans, according to World Health Organization, Resolution 208. Uh, they put it in a, a Class B carcinogen. Just so you understand what this is, Class B carcinogen is tobacco, engine exhaust, and just to name a few, the list is much longer. Wow. So that's at 2.8 gigahertz. 5G will be not 5 gigahertz, not 10, not 15, it's going to be 26 to 30. Wow. So you're going from 2.8, it should the power of the carrying wave, the bandwidth. Wow. Right? You're going from 2.8, you're going all the way to 30 in one jump. Wow. Now, this is just one problem. Second problem is that to create the 5G network, you need a very tight um, transmitters so-called antennas, right? They need to be very, very close together because uh, 5G works uh, only on millimeter waves. 4G works on centimeter waves. Millimeters waves do not travel well through solid objects. So the current technology can put an antenna and 12 miles, 15 miles around it, you will have coverage. With 5G, you need antenna every 400 feet. Wow. So never mind that it's 100 times more powerful exposure, it's also going to be a very tight network. So you're constantly going to be located very close to the source. And then finally, with all this in place, we're going to roll out so-called um, the Internet of Things. I'm sure you heard about it. IoT, yes. IoT. Yeah, yeah. And it's, and it's awesome. Listen, it's, it's a fantastic thing. Uh, again, I just wanted to say a few words before I explain what's happening. We are not against the rollout of 5G. We are not against uh, the Internet of Things. We love technology as much as everyone else. We just know how to make it safe, and we are already doing it very, very effectively. So the Internet of Things, will basically everything will be connected through the Internet. So your jacket you're wearing right now on yourself will be connected to the Internet. Wow. You know, your uh, bag will be connected to the Internet for multiple reasons and purposes. So what's going to happen, you're going to have 100%, 100 times more exposure it's much, going to be much more powerful. So again, you're going from 2.8 to 30. You're going to have a tight network and you're going to have things that connected to the internet everywhere and everything. So wow. you're going to be constantly surrounded and bombarded by the electromagnetic field. So, and as I said, even the current technology that we use right now already has adverse effect. And the, the real problem is, is that any radiation, including electromagnetic radiation, has an accumulative effect. It accumulates in your body. It doesn't come out. So currently, everyone relies on so-called safety code six, which is rules from the 70s, and they were never, ever changed since then. Back then, they decided how much exposure we can receive a day, an hour, a year, and that's it. But since then, if I ask you how much more radiation penetrates your body today, it's a quintillion times more. It's like one with 18 zeros. Wow. And that's, and, that's before, and that's before the 5G rollout. So um, the technology is awesome. We definitely need it. It's going to make things a lot easier for everyday use uh, and everyday life. And I'm looking forward to it. 
but again, because it's going to be surrounding us 24-7, no break, and it's going to be so powerful, the cumulative effect can really cause significant um, health issues to people, especially children. So just going back to our company, we have a unique technology that is able to completely restructurize the electromagnetic field to make it much more biologically compatible uh, and mesh with our baseline radiation emitted by our body cells. That's what we do and that's what's going to happen with the 5G rollout. It's going to be awesome technology-wise, but it's not going to be very healthy for us. Wow. Okay. You guys have a symbol. It's Wi-Fi, W-I-F-I. This is correct. How does the team at Wi-Fi make the company so successful? Well, first of all, we've been uh, researching the tech for almost two decades. So we have partnered up with very uh, key universities and um, professors and doctors that, you know, help us to, to develop the tech. And uh, what's, what's really amazing that we started way before everybody. And today, before even the 5G deployed, we have, you know, a technology that is tested, validated, and we already have products that are prototypes made, they also tested, and the, the physical products are already deployed. And we have a very creative team, both uh, from executive and uh, also people that uh, run day-to-day -day operation of the company. So uh, we're doing extremely well. Very good. Now, what do you see as the main challenge currently facing American heirs? Well, if I can think of a challenge, that cause difficulties for the company. I can really see a uh, bad management decision, bad business decision. I don't see any challenges. I see a huge ginormous market that is untouched and it's based on our calculation at 1%, 1% market penetration. It is $19 billion annually wow. <laughs> and no one touches it yet. The real challenge is to run this company properly, and we are confident we can do it. Very good. Who would you say are your closest competitors, and how do you stand out amongst those competitors? Well, there is and there isn't. So technology-wise, there are no products that we are aware of that are based on technology, physical components, and fundamental physics validated by independent research papers that are being peer-reviewed and published in peer-reviewed academical journals. What we do see, we see holistic approach. We see products that are made from mineral-based elements. We see copper bracelets that saying that if you wear it, you're going to get protected from the electromagnetic radiation. We see Himalayan crystals hanging on your chest and basically that company claims that crystal from the Himalayan mountain has something in it that influence the electromagnetic field. And they may indeed work. We don't know. They may be awesome or maybe not, but it's not, you know, a technology piece. So there are products that have a holistic approach and there are many of them on the market. Uh, small companies usually, again, no research of any kind just a holistic thing. And then there is our company who has created a microprocessor that is actually made out of real physical components and backed up by fundamental physics research and experiments. Very good. And can you tell us a little bit about the products you are currently selling? So we have um, three categories of products. We have a product that is um, device specific. It's a microprocessor that you install on your cell phone, cordless phone, Wi-Fi router, baby monitor, laptop, computer, and just to name a few. So it goes on a device, uh, modifying the electromagnetic field, and uh, the effective range of this product is up to one meter in diameter, which is very adequate in this case. Uh, a second product that we have is an area protection device uh, that you can install uh, anywhere and the effective radius of this device is up to 10 meters in diameter. So it's something that you can equip in your bedroom, in your living room, in your kid's bedroom, in your office, in a working station, in a cubicle and especially electric cars. 
Now, these electric cars that are coming now, they have the same technology that we have in a normal vehicle. I mean, GPS, Wi-Fi, router inside, your cellular, uh, your uh, other systems. But in addition to that, they have so-called like the electrical motors that produce um, the basically 250 kilowatt per axle. And they produce tremendous amount of electromagnetic field. Um, so you can use this product inside an electric vehicle as well. Very good. And uh, finally, we have a product that was specifically designed for EHS people. Uh, EHS stands for electro hypersensitivity. So EHS is a disease in many countries in the European Union. Oh, wow. So if you go into a doctor's office in Sweden, they're going to say you're sick, you have EHS, and that's it. You know that you are sick, and they're, you know, they can work on it. But in the U.S. and Canada, EHS is not a disease, it's, it's an allergy. So if you would go into your doctor here, I don't going to say, no, too bad, you're allergic to electromagnetic field. Do you feel the difference? Yeah. Now, just so you know, just in the U.S. officially, there are millions of people that are EHS, and this is the fastest growing so-called allergy in the United States of America. So we have developed a product that, you know, specifically designed for everybody, but specifically for EHS people. It's a product that they carry on their person constantly. It's like a credit card size, and you carry it on you. Wow. It comes in a leather pouch, you can hang it, you can put it in the first pocket, it needs to be within your proximity. Very good. That sounds like something that is really... Now, we have another product lineup that will be deployed in the Q2 of 2020. Uh, it's in the pipeline, it's coming, and it's going to be fantastic. I cannot uh, say everything about it right now, but uh, we're going to have an additional, much more effective, and they're going to cover a wider range and more applications as well. Fantastic. Now... Where do you see American Airs heading in the future? This is a good question. We uh, know exactly what we are doing and we have a clear um, path and a plan. So by the end of 2020, we wanted to deploy these direct-to-consumer products that we have created and sell them globally, direct-to-consumer online. So there is our uh, corporate global website translated to many, many languages. And we serve this product everywhere. It's already happening as we speak. We haven't started any marketing campaign at all. It's just being sold organically. We have orders coming from every single place that you can think of. It's already wow. now. We have product coming from Ariad, Saudi Arabia, from Qatar, from Kuwait, from Kuala Lumpur, from Brunei. I had to look where Brunei is because I was like, I wasn't sure where Brunei. I heard about Brunei. Do you know where it is? So uh, orders are coming from just weird places and i'm not even mentioning us and european union and canada these orders are coming you know multiple times an hour now but we haven't started the marketing campaign because we are building our e-commerce infrastructure and a few more things to run it smoothly so once this is up and running um, by the end of 2020 we are already starting to prepare our technology for enterprise application so what we're basically going to do, we will split. We will run this direct-to-consumer product lineup that we can always add on it, uh, bring more products, do improvements, uh, and you know, just, just run it forever. But at the same time, we can supply our technology and our microprocessors directly into tech manufacturers. Um, I can speak for an hour right now where this can go and where it will go. But just to you know, give you a simple example, this microprocessor can be installed in any Wi-Fi router that's being produced somewhere in China where they make them or into any cell phones or into any computer monitor or uh, just a laptop or a tablet, just to name a few. Wow. So, uh, yeah, so basically the business will be re redirected into two avenues. Enterprise, it's usually licensing and uh, supplying of the microprocessors directly now of course you get rid of all this packaging protections and you know inserts and the same product but it's going to be served differently um, so it's much cheaper and then uh, we will continue this uh, direct to consumer uh, business uh, as well online based only no brick and mortar stores no, no regular distribution very good now if there's uh, someone that's watching this that wants to find out more info about the company where do they go to find that info uh, the best information is always on our website. It's www.airistech.com. It's A-I-R-E-S-T-E-C-H.com. All the information, both for investors and general consumers, are uh, on the website. 
Well, thank you so much for your time today, Dimitri. We look forward to seeing your growth and success with this company. And we hope you guys achieve all the goals that you have set forth for yourself and for your investors. Thank you very much. Have yourself a great day. Thank you for watching, guys. This is Dimitri Sirov, the CEO of American Airs. Have yourselves a great day.